the coronavirus, known as COVID-19, is a zoonosis, meaning that it is a disease that comes from an animal species, uh, here very likely the bat. Uh, this disease, this new disease, has come as a surprise for most people in the world, but was actually not surprising for several scientists that study um, bats coronavirus and published about one year before the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemics, several articles um, in which they said that the interactions between bats and animal or bats and humans, such as the presence of live bats in wildlife wet markets in southern China, are important for interspecies transmission of coronaviruses and may lead to devastating global outbreaks. This was in February 2019 in the scientific um, journal Viruses. Now let's look at uh, the cycle of the disease and um, more generally in um, the, the cycle of, of um, zoonosis. So you have an animal reservoir, which is very likely in the case of coronavirus 19, uh, a bat species or several bat species. And this, uh, the pathogen here, a virus, can be transmitted to humans either directly uh, using uh, the proximity between bats and, uh, and humans that can arise from human economic activities, such as tourism in caves, for example, or the direct exploitation of the reservoir species. For example, if this species is raised uh, to produce guano, which is the case for bats in, in uh, Southeast Asia. But the pathogen can also uh, be transmitted with a mediation. Uh, it is passing through another species that is called an intermediate host, which could be a pangolin or another mammal or another animal species. And so to favor this uh, mediated transmission, you need to have uh, a tight contact between the reservoir and the intermediate host, which can be the case in live species market, for example. But it also can happen in a natural ecosystem when uh, the ecosystem is uh, impoverished in its species diversity. You can have an increased frequency of contact between the reservoir host and the intermediate host. Uh, this uh, frequency of contact uh, would be much less important in a very diversified ecosystem, uh, which is what we call in ecology the dilution effect. And the proximity and the transmission of the virus from the intermediate host to the human can, of course, be favored by uh, the traffic of endangered species or the farming. Uh, and very often in zoonosis, the intermediate host is uh, a livestock, for example, or a poultry or pigs that are very common intermediate hosts, especially for influenza. Now, uh, there are several ways to regulate this transmission of pathogen uh, from uh, wildlife to humans. And first, the most important of them is the ecosystemic regulation. So if in the ecosystem in which there is a, a reservoir for a pathogen, there is also predators for this species or competition um, that will regulate the population of the reservoir or parasitism, you can regulate the population and um, avoid that this species becomes uh, too important in the, in the ecosystem. The dilution effect that I mentioned earlier is also very important. And um, in a very diversified ecosystem, there is a, a higher probability that the pathogen, whether a virus or a, a parasite, a bacteria, will encounter hosts that are not good for its cycle, that will not allow for it to reproduce and to multiply. And uh, even uh, it could encounter what we called a dead-end host, dead end host. Um, and this prevents the transmission and the further development of the, of the disease. 
And another way is uh, especially when the intermediate host um, is an uh, raised animal um, to, to have a greater genetic diversity uh, in farmed species. And of course, the second aspect of regulation is the political regulation. The first one is to upgrade sanitary reglementation, especially in markets, to avoid the interspecies transmission of pathogen, to control the nature and the intensity of activities in biodiversity-rich areas, to avoid the spillover of pathogen to human, and uh, to respect the CITES Convention on the Traffic of uh, Wild Species, and promote agroecological farming.